Hello there. My name is James Collective. If you are finding me for the first time, I resell part-time in between my normal nine to five job. Currently Saturday, you might be able to hear it's absolutely peeing down with rain. Apparently the car boot will be on tomorrow. Um, we'll have to wait and see. But why am I starting off in the garage? Well, that's because I've done a load of drafting. I need to skew this lot so that it can go live. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna bugger off and actually do some work. So sales wise, we're gonna start off with the double RL, which I only bought Friday. It's sold within a day. So I got an offer this morning on the way to the car boot for I think 150. And I said, look, it's only been up for like less than 24 hours. For the time being, I'm gonna to stick to my 200. Before I left the car boot sale, they paid full price, 10 pounds into 199.99 plus the shipping. Lovely. FIFA on the GameCube, sold for 2.99 plus shipping. Fingers crossed an F2, there should be a Wally, sold for 29.99 plus shipping. Everyone knows to look out for these anyway. We had an offer come in for Skull Grin for 12 pounds plus shipping and I took it. And the listing that I did the other day of all the robots, this one in B6 sold for 6.99 plus shipping. And then in the PS1 draw, Ash versus Evil Dead. Is it Evil Dead? Oh, okay, Evil Dead. Sold for, I think it was about 25 pounds all in, which yeah, it's not a bad going at all. Two Morph Mayhem decks for 40 pounds plus shipping going out through the GSP. Sunscraper Skylander, 24.99 plus shipping. Glow in the Dark Goose. Flurkin sold for £15 plus signed for shipping. Into the loft to get the last few bits for this lovely, lovely Sunday. On the Nintendo DS, Hannah Montana sold for £1.99 plus, no, including delivery. That sucks. However, this is more like it. Games Workshop, The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Rings sold for £74.99 plus shipping on the wii u we have sold batman for nine pounds all in oh that way around all in and most likely to be the last item of the day for 7.99 all in on the xbox one lego marvel superheroes however saying that generally speaking i'll keep the loft open until after i've had my dinner it's only five to five so yeah another half an hour or so and then the loft is closed for the day and everything will have to wait until the day after to be dispatched. But yeah, a lot of stuff sold. Nice to have some money in because uh, for me, I'm going to Cardiff this Friday to go and meet the Master of Pieces and uh, a couple of others as well, which should be really, really good. Cherry shop was here, so I thought might as well just pop in. Okay, these don't look real. It does say Mario Party, but that tag looks really sketchy. I mean, they're two pound. Two pound. Oh, sod it. Sod it. Got some new slippers. <sighs> Speak out, Triple Pursuit, Logo. That does say Ban Presto, I didn't know Ban Presto did slippers, but it's two quid, I will risk it for a biscuit. So I just had a moment of complete and utter panic. I've sold something, I know I've seen it, and I've immediately not looked anywhere else. I thought it's, it's in one of these, it's in one of these. Checked the whole way down. It's not there. This is a six foot high stack of crap. Behind this is another six foot high stack of crap. 
So, oh God, I'm gonna have to move all of this out to there and just get it all out. There's my toes. And um, then I, I turned around and thought, you know what, I should really just check the shelf first, just in case. And it's there, 19.99 plus shipping. That saved me a lot of hassle. But ladies and gentlemen, that is not all. For in A7, we are, this is, I mean, this is just the other day. It's an RC thingy majiggy for charging stuff. A charger, that's the word. That's all for 9.99 plus shipping. Uh, C6, looking for GTA 2, which is Grand, no, Grand Theft Auto. Oh, was it 2 or London? It's London. I remember seeing the picture of the really cool map. So that's that. And then C5, there should be a lamp which sold for 30 quid. And I bought four of them for 30 quid. So as one sells, another one will get listed. I didn't want to do all of them at once because I don't want there to be four extra online rather than just one extra. But there you go, 30 quid and it's missing the glass. Now I've just got that lot, which is all in the loft, but I'll wait until the wife's finished work before I start doing all that. Oh, before we do any more, we got a delivery from the Pokemon Center. What is it? I hear you ask. Cut it from the bottom because, you know, hiding my address. Uh, I can't get them out one-handed. But we do have Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Boxes for Sword and Shield Lost Origin. Going straight into the display cabinet. And I've run out of space. Might put some build and battle kits in just to sort of fill it up. And then it means I can move things up and around and God knows what else but yeah i've got a lot of etbs i need um i need shelving going around the whole of the house that'd be great right let's find some stuff that's sold uh ps3 will be over there hunters are these that was easy they should be the size threes uh uk3 yep lovely uh spyro and we're also looking for prisoner of azkaban so the hunters sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Prisoner of Azkaban sold for $6.99 plus shipping. Now we're looking for Spyro. Return of the Dragonfly. Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. That's the one. And that's sold for $9.99 all in. Now on the PlayStation 3, Street Fighter 4, which is that one there. That's sold for seven. It might have been less than that actually. Street Fighter sold for. $5.99 all in. Okay then, what's next? We are looking for Robot Warlords. The stamps are downstairs, so we need Minecraft and Switch, which they all live. Please be in here. Oh no. Oh yes, there we go. $24.99 plus the shipping. Lovely. Robot Warlords, PS2 brand new and sealed. I've got two of these, but this is the only one with that strap on it. The other one, I'm keeping for myself. So, starting off Tuesday with some sales. Now, there's no footage from today, but you'll see the haul at the end of the video. Got some very nice bits. But we have sold Professor Layton, Lost Future for $8.99, all in. On DS again, CSI Dark Motives for $2.99, all in. Now, to find Indiana Jones, which sold for $4.99, all in. Now, out of those three games, two of them are going to the same person, which means I make some money back on postage. Like a whole 60 pence. Up in this random box where I keep some bags, we've sold this recess bag for 49.99 all in. And then we've sold one of the kits. I can't remember which one. All I know is a bike. And it's somewhere in that pile. There we go, wasn't too bad. 39.99 plus signed for shipping, but it's going out via the GSP, so I won't send it signed for. And also bought two of these today. One to keep sealed and one to crack open. Wish me luck. So we've got hidden away in the corner. It's not very really good. Vintage puzzle. 2019. Got some birds. Chat me.
a bit of TK Maxx, shall we? Put it down far. It's always far in the reduced. Half the length, that's more like it. 3XL, that's a horrible size. Not reduced enough. What's this one? Three large. Nope. See if there's any ones that I like. No. I prefer to wear diesels. Bench. What's that? Three for twelve pounds. That's not bad. Diesel. Fourteen quid. I think I missed all the mediums, didn't I? Or did I do them already? Mm, good London brand. Like a sabred. That is horrific. That says Tony Hawk. This garment has undergone a special process which results in variations of shading and colour. These variations are intended to add to the unique characteristics of this design. Do you want some fun story time? I've hurt myself. So today I was at a job and something flew towards my face and I panicked. It could have been a fly, it could have been a wasp, it could have been a leaf. And I, I twisted in order to get my head away from whatever it could have been. My, my top half of my body moved. My right leg from the knee down sort of didn't. And I, I crack my back quite a lot and it's one of the best sensations in the world. And it made the most horrendous, more than half a dozen cracks within a split second. And I, for a moment, I genuinely thought I broke something. Went down to the floor like a sack of spuds. And I, I, I effed and jeffed quite a lot for about two or three minutes non-stop. Uh, so I managed to, to hobble up. I uh, managed to drive home. That wasn't a problem. Um, driving's actually quite comfortable. It's everything else that's not. I have to do steps on the stairs one at a time. Uh, I can't put any pressure on my leg when it's bent. When it's straight, absolutely fine. It's only when I'm I'm using the actual leg is a bit of a problem. So, yeah, I've got to get up into the loft as well. So I don't quite know how I'm going to do that yet. And I'm supposed to be going to Cardiff this weekend to the Cardiff Card Show. I'm supposed to be meeting the Master of Pieces. I I have told in what's going on and like i'm going to see how i am i mean today is currently wednesday still so i think tomorrow i'm going to be taking it easy i don't plan on doing it i plan on doing even less manual labor than normal which is saying something uh, i plan to just take it easy and try and let my knee rest the plan being i'm still going to cardiff on friday leaving about midday so yeah I'm an idiot. Totally forgot to show you what I bought. So here is what I bought. Bailey Shoes, women's, paid £7. Good brand. Uh, from the same place where I got the Jimmy Choo's from a little while ago. Absolutely amazing. Paid 7 Actually reduced from a tenner. £10 for Finch Hatton. Brand new with tags. XXL. It's a lovely blue. And there we go. Paid a tenner. Country clothes. Ralph Loren, brand new with tags, RRP 70. So what I might do is actually take that bit off and then, I don't know, I don't know. But it's got everything, look, XXL, it's got all of that lovely stuff. Man paid 30 quid, went to the charity shop and I paid a tenner. We got another one, brand new with the tags. Again, same size, XXL, paid a tenner. We got another one, again, XXL, paid a tenner. Brand new with the tags. Look at that. Cast BD blade. Blah, 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 lovely. And then this one is actually pre-owned. But it is Timberland. And it cost me £6. There we go. Another XXL. For some reason, I can't get the bloody flash to turn off. But we've sold Egg Bomber Strike. Missing a wing for 7 99 plus shipping. And then my last Morph Mayhem deck for 18 99 plus shipping. Finally, the flash has gone. 24 99 for this lovely pair of Ralph Lauren ladies boots. Now, I'll be honest, I forgot I had these childish hoodies. Sold one for £55 plus shipping. 
bought these a dog's age ago from Joe, aka Closet Geek, when he got an absolute boatload of them available. Uh, if, yeah, first sale in a very long time going out through the GSP. Purchased a little while ago, listed for less than a week. You can actually see it poking out of the drawer, which I can't open because there's so much crap on top. But this Tottenham Hotspur Deli Alley shirt sold for $28.49 plus shipping. $14.99 plus shipping for Firestorm from the DC Universe. And then Hitachi Mishima, $9.99 all in. Lost Future, $8.99 all in. On the Wii, The Sims 2 Pets, $4.99 all in. Beetle Adventure Racing on the N64, cart only for $14.99 all in. And that's it, video's done because I'm in a bit of pain and I don't think I'll be doing much tomorrow. So I'm actually gonna stick the eBay on holiday mode until Monday because I need a Kit Kat and going up and down those ladders to get to the loft is no easy feat. So I'll see you guys next week. Au revoir.